Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, simple squash soup. I want to show you how to make squash soup with maybe some unusual squash that you see in the store or the farmer's market or that you're growing and you don't know what to do with. This is your typical butternut squash, which we see in the store. They're easy to grow. We grow a bunch of these. That one's kind of stumpy. Yeah, but it's cool looking. This what is, that? is a Hubbard squash. They're kind of gangly and they're beautiful. They have a beautiful color. This is actually a mini Hubbard. Mini? The regular Hubbards are big. But like, we, we like like county fair big? Yeah. But this is a mini it's called a mini Hubbard. It's a seed we use. We got it from Fedco Seeds. How much do you think that thing weighs? That's about four pounds. But I want to show you how to make a simple squash soup with this. Alright? Alright. Instead of this. This is great, but this is cool. The camera operator cannot move properly during the shoot because somebody's sleeping on my feet. All right, what's that? Ah, big knife. Step one, get a big knife. This is a carbon steel knife. I got this for $2 at a yard sale. It's great. Make sure it's sharp. You you can, I, my suggestion is to buy a knife sharpener. The stone way is, is really hard. Okay, take this and you want to cut this lengthwise. Is that, is that uh, perhaps dangerous? No. Woo! What's dangerous is a dull knife. Sharp knives work, dull knives don't. You can slip and cut yourself. Eek. That's beautiful. Now if you planted those seeds, would you get more mini squashes next year? Yes, this is an heirloom squash, so if you plant these seeds, you could take these seeds and dry them, and you would get more Hubbard squash. Butternuts are a hybrid, so if you plant the, the squash seeds from a hybrid squash, you won't get that same squash again. Wow, you just know that, huh? Yeah. Wow. It's scary, isn't it? It is. Scoop out the seeds. Yeah. Can you, can you use those seeds for anything else in a meal? You know, I've seen where people will roast these kind of like pumpkin seeds. It, it depends on the squash. I've roasted some squash seeds and they don't taste very good. You want to take this now and put it in the oven. I put it at 400 degrees, it's about an hour. And the way you test if it's done or not is you take a fork, if this were a fork, <laughs> and it presses in easily. Do you put anything in it or you just put nope. it in just like that? I just race, roast them face up, I put them in a pan, and you'll see. This is one of those rare times where I actually cook something ahead of time. Un, very ungarden for play. You just happen to have two of those to lying around. But you can see here, it presses in easily. Okay, next, to make our soup, I chopped up one onion. One, two. Two what? Two gloves. And who measures oil? It's delicious. This is super simple. You can make a bunch of it on the weekend and you could freeze it or just put it in the fridge for weeknight meals. Super healthy, a lot of beta carotene in it. No. You say simple a lot. I'm all about simple because I complicated doesn't work for me. Just ask the camera operator. The beauty of this kind of food, all right, when you cook this, it doesn't need any more enhancements. It's just delicious. As it is. You know, so we're gonna put in a little bit of sage. Okay. And onion and garlic. And we can add a little milk to it to make it creamy, and that's it. So while the onions are cooking, I'm gonna scoop this all out. So there's our uh, cooked squash. So I take the sage. I kind of overcook the onions a little bit. You can use a potato masher or a hand blender. You can 
also add apple in here if you want, or a sweet potato. I'm going to put a little bit of milk in. What does that do? It just adds a creaminess, makes it a little more soupy. That might have been a little too much, too much milk. Too many gloves, as it were. Yeah. I think we need more milk. <laughs> we need more milk. <laughs> How many plugs? That was two. All right. Totally neat. You have impressed yourself. Well, butternut squash has kind of a sweetness to it, and yeah. this, this doesn't. This has like this earthy earthiness to it. It's a. It just tastes like substance. Not, not like dirt, but yeah, you know. I don't know. What my point here is: go try some other weird-looking squashes, not just the boring butternut. But you go to the farmer's market and. You see somebody found squash, you can buy it and cut it up, bake it, scrape it, and put it in and make a soup. Look for ugly squash. Yeah. <laughs> Seek out ugly squash. Seek out ugly squash. So. All right. If you like the show, hit the subscribe button, all right? We always like to hear from you guys. You can send me an email and tell me what you guys are up to, eric at gardenfork.tv. It's really fun. Like, I get people telling me how they watch the show as a family, and um, it's just kind of fun to hear that kind of thing because people like the show. Most you people... can't believe it. <laughs> right. And if you walk up to me in the post office and start talking to me, tell me who you are because I don't know who you are. <laughs> that happened today. All right. Make it a great day. Find us on the social networks, Google, Facebook, if you know, wherever it is, we're there. Okay. See you later. Bye.